Nvidia graphics cards have reached a point where they are quite literally, in some ways, pay to win now. What I mean by this is that if you're someone who doesn't buy an Nvidia graphics card, well, because of this new feature, you may actually be at a very real, very tangible disadvantage to those who do in some of your favorite online games. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Alright, so this year I went to CES yet again, mostly to capture video of new monitors and TVs, as I'm really into that stuff, but Nvidia actually showed a ton of stuff as well. Now, full disclosure, they did pay for my trip to CES to see their behind closed doors demos, and I was also sponsored by MSI to look at their displays too, but regardless, that's not going to change my opinion on what I'm going to discuss today. And some of you may actually really love this feature, and some of you may hate the idea of this entirely and be angry that yes, you may be at an advantage or disadvantage in your online games depending on what brand you buy, which is kind of a scary concept, let's be real. But in any case, yeah, there were two different things that I took away from their behind closed doors demos that I thought were really transparent transformative tech. One of them was Mega Geometry, which would require its own video, but the other one that I want to talk about today is NVIDIA Reflex 2. Now, NVIDIA Reflex was originally announced to try and reduce the latency in your favorite online games, and this was something that was quickly countered by AMD, who had their own solution, although they had a few hiccups with theirs, but apparently now that's hopefully been resolved, and now AMD and NVIDIA both have their versions of a reflex technology, bringing down the render latency by trying to eliminate a GPU bottleneck and delivering the frames just in time to again give you the lowest latency experience. Pretty simple stuff, and you could alternatively just lock your frame rate below what you can actually achieve to ensure that you also get a similar low latency experience. So even if you don't have AMD or NVIDIA, maybe you're an Intel user, there are plenty of options to try and counter NVIDIA's Reflex technology, but Reflex 2 was announced and it does something entirely different. In fact, this is so transformative and it shocked me so much that I had to release this video on it and I'm actually gonna read what NVIDIA has to say about it because it's a little bit harder to understand than simply reducing your latency. So according to NVIDIA on their website, they state, quote, as a frame is being rendered by the GPU, the CPU calculates the camera position of the next frame in the pipeline based on the latest mouse or controller input. Frame warp samples the new camera position from the CPU and warps the frame just rendered by the GPU to this newer camera position. The warp is conducted as late as possible just before the rendered frame is sent to the display, ensuring the most recent mouse input is reflected on screen and they do actually have a visual representation of what this looks like and the really interesting part about this technology is that unlike the original reflex they're not even waiting for a rendered frame to be completed they're essentially taking a frame that has not even yet been completed filling in the gaps using AI technology, and then sending it to your display again before it would have originally even been ready, or at least that's how I'm interpreting it. Now that's absolutely crazy. Sending frames that aren't even complete yet to your display to save, in theory, well, a whole frame of latency. Now, one frame of latency might not seem like a lot, but for those of you who are online gamers who really want to get that W, this actually is an enormous improvement to the responsiveness and will give you a real and tangible advantage over those who do not have this technology. Now, to be clear, I believe it's only debuting in one or two titles pretty soon here, although it's very likely it will make its way to even more, depending on whether or not the developers see this as cheating or not, because let's be honest, 
In some ways, I could see some people comparing this to cheating as you're getting a frame before it's even been completed and using AI again to fill in the gaps. However, one of those games that it's coming to is the finals. Now I'm a huge fan of the finals, but the finals has a problem with latency in my opinion. It just feels a bit more sluggish than some of the other online games and getting a substantial one frame advantage in the finals is gonna be really huge. How huge? Well, according to Nvidia, once again, and I will go over my own calculations here in just a second, but they're claiming that with reflex off, they saw in a test around 56 milliseconds of latency, then with reflex one, 27 milliseconds of latency, which again, you can counter by just simply capping your frame rate. But then with reflex two, which cannot be countered by any other method, they have now roughly halved it again to just 14 milliseconds. And again, at CES, I actually did my own testing and I found very similar results. In the finals, a game that is gonna ship with Reflex 2, I saw roughly hovering around 50 milliseconds with Reflex off, 22 milliseconds with Reflex on, and then 12 milliseconds of total latency with Reflex 2 enabled, giving an additional 10 milliseconds of an advantage with Reflex 2 versus Reflex on. And again, this cannot be countered by any means that I'm aware of right now. So if you have an AMD or Intel card, you will be at a disadvantage in the finals when this launches. But how big of a disadvantage is this really going to be for you or how much of an advantage for those Nvidia owners who will have access to Reflex 2? Well, 10 milliseconds, just to put this in perspective, is actually an enormous advantage. If we take a look at a 144 hertz panel, well, that actually has a rough latency of around 6.94 milliseconds. However, if you were to jump up to a 240 hertz panel, that would drop to 4.17 milliseconds or less than a three millisecond difference for a monitor that's gonna cost hundreds of dollars more. And if you jump up to an even faster 360 hertz panel, well, that's gonna be 2.78 milliseconds roughly or only around 1.5 milliseconds faster than 240 hertz and that's gonna be even more expensive than that 240 hertz panel. And even if you were to jump from a 144 to 360 hertz panel, you're not only spending hundreds of dollars more on the monitor, but possibly thousands of dollars more on your PC to even run that display, and you're only gonna have roughly a four millisecond reduction in your total latency, whereas Reflex 2 could give you roughly 10 milliseconds according to the demo that I got hands on with. So even if you spend thousands of dollars more on your PC, you could not get the same advantage that Reflex 2 could give you, at least when you move your mouse. Now, I don't know how it's gonna work for click latency. It sounds like that might not be any different, but at least for mouse movements, yes, this is gonna be a larger improvement than jumping from 144 to 360 hertz in terms of your latency. Now, to be fair, there are other advantages to getting a higher refresh rate monitor, specifically when it comes to motion performance, things in motion will look far more clear, allowing for easier target acquisition. And I I think that's actually a larger improvement than the latency overall, but total input latency is still very, very important for these games. And a 10 millisecond reduction is going to, again, give you a very substantial advantage over those who do not have Reflex 2. So that's why I said at the beginning of this video that Reflex 2 was certainly one of the more transformative technologies that I saw them debuting. Certainly it had me the most interested out of all their technologies, and it will be a situation where it's gonna feel like it's literally paid to win. If you don't pay for an NVIDIA graphics card, you will be at a disadvantage in the games that implement Reflex 2, and a substantial disadvantage, at least if you're in higher skill lobbies, where those small differences can actually add up to a large difference for those very skilled players. So, I really do hope that AMD and Intel have an answer for this technology, because if they don't, their customers are literally going to be at a disadvantage in these games. So I really hope they have something up their sleeves and they have it to bring out soon, as I'd like to see this same latency improvement make its way to all GPU buyers, not just Nvidia. But for the time being, yes, Nvidia owners with Reflex 2, at least starting with the finals, are gonna have a very, very noticeable advantage and one that simply can't be countered by any monitor purchase or number of setting combinations 
to try and reduce your latency. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that this is fair technology and developers should be implementing it and hopefully AMD and Intel finally catch up and we get every GPU owner to have lower latency in their games? Or do you think this should be considered cheating and shouldn't be allowed in games as it's not technically the frame that was fully rendered and it's being filled in essentially through the use of AI, or at least that's kind of how I'm interpreting it. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.